All right, we're back. Uh, another episode. Hello. hello. It's yeah. like we didn't leave. <laughs> yeah, because we is. fucking did. No. Yeah, and I gave a backwards uh, three count. I'm sorry. It, was, it worked. I knew what you meant. I mean, I knew. Yeah, I knew you'd get it, but it felt weird doing it. I just, I, knew, I just needed. <laughs> Once to I got the two, I was like, "What the fuck am I doing?" <laughs> the reason I was like, "I need quiet for just like a second, so I can do a mark in the wave file." All right, I know where to cut one now, kind of ish. Yeah. Find a ballpark. Um, Hitting so, puberty there, bud. So, uh, I'm just kidding. We're back. Uh, what movie did we watch? Uh, Blue Hill Avenue. Blue Hill Avenue. Yeah. That, dude, we all, I was like, who's going to say it? Well, I mean, it's no. the next blue movie we did. It is. Yeah, yeah we, we did have a blue this is, our blue, this is our blue face. We had a blue do all blue yeah, Exactly. Yeah. Uh, we're Weezer. We're going to do a green album and a red album. Weezer. Well, um, David Mom. But yeah, we watched uh, Blue Hill Avenue. That and, wasn't uh, Weezer. I fucking love it. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I've been a fan of this movie for a long time, not going to lie. This is a 2005 $5 Walmart bin buy for me. and uh, It still holds up. Still holds up. Like, it was a good purchase. It's a BET oh, original yeah. film, too. I, oh, it is? Okay. I think from 01. I don't, I, don't, I don't think it is. Is it not? I thought it was broadcasted. Or maybe. It might it have probably just, it might have just been shown on BET, but I... Did, did, Th- that was, DVD cover does not have BET. There was, is someone going to blow their brains out over this? <laughs> <laughs> oh! yeah, 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 I will. No. Okay. <laughs> no. Uh, Th- I there was there was a while on BET though where they were doing like uh like black black star cinema or something like that and uh, so it might have been on that little fucking block and shit like that. I'm pretty goddamn hip, you guys. So as yeah, Alan Payne y'all is this. He is our hip hop correspondent. Yeah, I'm the I'm the I'm the hip hop expert. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, but yeah, I don't really this, know anyone that was in this movie. Uh, I, I, the, well, the main I, guy I recognize. Oh, I'm a, fucking stupid. Yes, I do. Uh, that's Alan Payne. Yeah, no, the the other one. This is hell. Oh, Clarence Williams the third yeah, from uh, Clarence Williams. Oh yeah, uh, from the Mod Squad back in the '70s or '60s, whichever. That, that and was, uh, of course, uh, I forgot his name, but from the the mortician from Tales from the Hood, classic. Oh yeah, classic. The, also also uh, one of the. Uh, one of the, one of the guys, was also in uh, the replacements too with uh, Keanu Reeves. I love the replacements as well. <laughs> uh, he said to himself, "I can't, re- I can't re- uh, place." It, it's that. Uh, it's a football movie. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh-oh. It's yeah. More sports. It ain't Friday Night Lights. I don't give a fuck. It's a spicy movie. You better remember those goddamn titles. About a team of misfits that came together. Yeah, they're the. Uh, Replacements. Little known fact about Ian: his bedroom covered <laughs> wall to wall in Varsity Blues wallpaper. Dude, he is. Not, that's uh, I'm talking Ian's about baseball beds, baseballs, fucking basketball. And as you guys have probably picked up, the reason he has such an obsession with this is because of his disabilities. You know, being in the iron lung and you know having to be wheeled around everywhere, being only four foot I've two. Al- I've always wanted to run, man, and just feel the wind on my fucking, you know. And he's Anything. Got, he's got this rare disease where he can't like his chromosomes. He's are got just Benjamin Button disease too. Like, sometimes he has too many. Sometimes he doesn't have enough. It is just it's fucking all over. I just want to take this. I just want to take this time to fucking thank you guys for wheeling this fucking shit over to my iron lung and uh, fucking you know <laughs> fucking now, up my levels and shit. Before Ian was in the iron lung, anyone wondering? Yes, he had Forrest Gump braces. Man, fuck this <laughs> movie. Let's talk about me and the lung. <laughs> <laughs> nah, none of us want to talk about that. Yeah, nobody wants to talk about it until you want to us trying to talk about it. <laughs> Shut up, man. Well, hey, hey, we have to edit out. We have to ed- edit those out. Those iron lung sounds. Stop that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fuck yeah. Breathing. All right. Either way, we watched a fucking badass movie. We did, dude. Um, with probably like one of my favorite transitions, like scene transitions. Yeah. Toward, uh, towards the beginning. Um, <laughs> You know which one I'm talking about, right? When that bottle of li- uh, liquor falls off the table. Okay, well, okay. That's toward the, 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 the movie the starts out with three of our, three of the four of our main characters, and they're they're uh, they've got their guns out for some reason. They're like, yeah, we're gonna watch this big ass drug deal, <laughs> and uh, they open the door, they go in there, everyone's on edge. Their group, the other group, bottle gets knocked off the table, guns or bullets start flying. Well, the one, like the main, I guess the main, main guy, Alan Payne. Oh, yeah. He's, he's like, I, I don't, he's like, I can remember all leading up to this or something. And then he looks over and they're like, they're in a dark warehouse. He, he, well, the scene like darks out and it's just him standing in the darkness. Yeah. And a basketball like a spotlight. rolls towards him and he yeah. picks yeah. it up and he looks confused and looks over and sees his younger self and his friends on the court. Looking in camera. Looking, yeah. And he, he's like, throw me the ball, man. So he, 
passes the ball to his younger self. To his memory that's, self. And that's how the movie starts. Which that, yeah, was that, cool. that was yeah, cool. That was very point. cool. I love yeah. basketball. <laughs> well, we, we know that. You know, so... But uh, dude, also let me. I just want to clear. I just want to clarify real quick too. When we're talking about how good this movie is, and we say it's badass and shit like that, dude, this is a silly fucking movie, dude. This movie was silly, like, but made with love and intent, and, 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 yeah, like, and, exactly. like, and, and like and like professionalism. Ex- no, yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. It's a very professionally. You can tell like they were like, we're gonna be serious about this. They had a budget. It's on a budget. <clears throat> they had a budget, but they, it's on a budget too. Alan, at the same and time, Alan got paid. Okay, from with most probably of, the with most, probably probably most probably of the right and it's that. fine. It's most fine. Speaking rules. But dude, uh, and, and I, I just want to say, like, because there's um, there uh, there's a couple there's a couple uh, shootout scenes and shit. Like, uh, there's a couple, you know, they got to use that iron and fucking like, it was that. Those are the most ridiculous fucking like. Uh, I would love to see like a professional like. Like a, a Navy SEAL or something like that, like you know, uh, react to this to their shootout scenes and stuff because it's like c- constantly bullets so you're, you're fl- flying. It, uh, in all fairness, a little too much action credit. Okay, I would rather see just Hollywood guys that do big action scenes be like, oh, "Why well, did they do this? What the okay. fuck were they using for gunpowder?" But, but I'm just saying they they fucking they. It's like there's a lot of standing in place and standoffs, yeah, standoffs, and, and, and a lot of squared up with their shoulders, fucking like bow, 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 you know, not getting shot. Ex- yeah. yeah. Like, but some people do get shot. Yeah. But hundreds of bullets later. Like, eh, well, 50? I, like, dude, it more than what's in the fucking clip. I don't, I don't know. I'm just saying. I'll give 30 mags. 30, 30, one I'm out of 30. 100 mags. <laughs> yeah, there, there's a few shootouts in it, and I thought they were pretty good with but, they were. But, again, going back to the fact that done on a budget with intent, um, I'd rather see that and then because obviously they didn't have a gun coordinator or someone yeah. on set or you know an, an advisor to tell them um <laughs> i'd rather see them do that than like try to do some stupid ass stunts that that's don't true really, yeah that look, look, that they make they them even look, look cool stupider at all. yeah yeah um they yeah you know. so they, they, they yeah I, or the okay, worst I, i'll take that stunts. yeah i do i, I appreciate yeah. i appreciate the jabs well but but or uh the attend but like uh I, you know, like I said, man, they they just look so fucking silly. Yeah, it looked really awkward. There's, yeah, there's, a, there's there's like a few that are pretty cool, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Maybe. I'm just thinking of like the Twinkie one. That I one's good. I yeah, uh, I like that one stop sign kind of, where the car's getting hit up behind them. Uh, that's kind of the one. That's one of the ones I'm thinking of. Where yeah, but it looks standing. cool on the back of the DVD box <laughs> and they're on the street. <laughs> it so does. Dude. Okay, you got me there. You got there, me there. There, there are. Th- Blasting shells just in the middle of a street. Yeah, yeah no shit. Lined up suit. in suits. Yeah, yeah. But this, this movie basically tells the story of these four friends, child or yeah, childhood, childhood friends, friends. Yeah. childhood friends growing up. I forget how old they are when it starts. Like they're like 14. twelve. They're like twelve, thirteen. Yeah, they're between twelve and fourteen for yeah. sure. And um, how they grow up on the streets with their little crew. They get in the game. They yeah, get, they get into the into you know the, the drug game. Yeah, and uh, they become fucking crack lords. Crack lords by the early nineties. Yeah, it's like nineteen seventy or no, it was like nineteen eighty three or something. I can't remember what they said at the beginning. Oh damn, perfect time. Remember they were like they age a lot for like twenty six years old now. Like, oh shit, they yeah. all look forty. Oh yeah, because they, they so they were they <laughs> yeah. were fourteen. They were fourteen because we it was like, twelve years it was later. Like twelve years. When yeah, it's been twelve years since we started. And I was like. Yeah, damn, y'all grew up and became men like a motherfucker. Yeah, you know, y'all don't even look the same. Especially Simon, goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, yeah, that, that was a guy Simon in the replacement. Simon out even more. <laughs> he started um, playing football. Probably got a couple letters. Yeah, and got in replacements. E Bone, uh, T Money, Tristan. How can we forget oh, the yeah, game? Tristan. Yeah, Tristan. <laughs> yeah, Tristan. Dude, man, I don't know this movie. Nah, it was it was good though. It was, it's a it's a fun watch. Look. There's a scene in this movie that uh, if I had to sell it right now, I'm like, these guys are such good uh, uh, crack dealers. And I can't remember if it was Boston or somewhere in Massachusetts, correct? Uh, right? Yes, yeah, right outside yeah. of Boston. They're so badass. The main character has got the community so fucked up, his mm. own sister offers to suck him off for some crack walking down the street. And it's after she's like hit him up to... Hey, can I like? If she's not cracked down, doesn't know it's her brother. She oh yeah. Well, oh, no. At first she doesn't, and then once she figures out, oh shit, she was this, so this high. is my brother. brother. Yeah, I know what he does. Yeah, he is crack lord, and uh, she still offers to, to suck, suck him his, off. Like she thought about it. I'll suck you off, Tristan. Oh my. Tristan. And then she collapses. He's just like, oh no. You think she's it's like kind of dramatic, even and well, crack is a little dramatic. <laughs> no, his uh, his lifestyle he chose once he once he made it. Um, 
the big, I don't know, the big suits, the flashy house, or not, not the, okay, fuck, uh, not the flashy house, the decor. Yeah. I don't know. It looked like he was going for a theme. Well, it was, I it, that's not I, what he I was going would up do. Class, I, think, I think it was, Tristan. But, Tell us what you would do if you were a crack lord in the early I 90s. I think we should head. all. I think we should all. We should go around a I table would, saying I what we would do. Dress like crack I was lords. in the fucking fifties, but the twenties. Uh, no, I would have one nice suit. You'd be like the kid from Blank Check. <laughs> nice. Right. That would be your aesthetic. He's got his, Honestly, he's got his wife I, slide I from think, the office. To the I pool. think that's the rule in the game. I think you like. Now, I think everybody coming to hang out with you though. But don't remember who that is. She was the fine cop in it in uh, Blank Check. Do you know how long the one that made out with him? Dude, this movie came out Four the last months. time I saw a blank check. Dude. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I watched it like seven or eight years ago. It still holds up for I me. I usually just watch Dunson's Checks In. And then check the fuck out. <laughs> now that's one I haven't seen in a long time. Same. Nah, but but another five star movie, uh, mm, Dunstan no. Checks In. No. But this movie. Oh, Operation Dumbo Drive. The characters in it. And I actually do like, back on what we were talking about with Tristan just a second ago, I actually do like. That even though he has success, it fucks him up with his own family. Not like anyone gets killed or anything. They're just like, you son of a bitch. You know we, we know what it. you do. I feel like if I was in his position, I would uh, not let a family. Like if I, you know, hell no. I'm not gonna let a family mem- family member get cracked the fuck out. And let well, unless they got the cash, of course. Yeah, I mean, I don't but think you- he meant to. He's just his drug dealing game was just that good. Well, he should have kept up. <laughs> you dr- you dr- I'm like, hey, hey, mom, hey, dad, what's up? I don't know. He should have been throwing the mom and dad money like way earlier, because like they do, back they, they, they do not like Tristan in this movie. But his he uncle was cool and took money from him for the oh, barbershop. Well, yeah. dude, his uncle, his uncle was like, "Hey, Tristan, what's going on now? You still selling crack? Hey, man." Uh, and then he had the the whole fucking like you know man you know you need to think I, about what you're doing thing. And then he was like, "Hey, but uh, can I get some weed though?" Yeah. <laughs> dude, and then, dude, this this was this was the thing I kept thinking about too, like. Dude, you made it. You made it in the drug game. You've made it, and like you're a crack lord, all right. And you know, but I, I was still thinking, like, dude, at the end of the day, like, even though you're a fucking crack lord billionaire and shit like that, like, dude, mm. you still sell crack. Like, people still come to you. Crackheads still come to you for crack. No, they had maybe, the maybe houses not. and everything. Not to him. He, yeah, he, he, but he some do. Yeah, some they, probably they do. They had multiple houses. Well, I'm just um, saying, a crackhead, he can hook you up. I want to point back out too that the uncle. Remember early on, the uncle gives him that preachy ass speech, like you are fucking up the community. Yeah, I'm like, that's what I'm okay, about. uncle, fair enough, is what I'm thinking. I, I became Tristan's buddy for a second. I was like, but you were down to take fucking money for twelve fucking years and not saying anything. But it was especially for the shop. Was, especially no, when he was judgmental, little. motherfucking uncle. How dare you, sir? Yeah. Throw a five thousand dollar roll. Speaking at him. of another uncle in this movie, <laughs> I forget. It might be a. I think it's Money's uncle, the cool one, the the, the, the cool uncle who uh, smokes too much weed. Oh, oh yeah, yeah dude. constantly shit talk that guy. Yeah, that was funny. Dude, it's so good until they until they make it in the weed game, and it's just like we let his bitch ass smoke for free, oh. and he let us fuck his like forty year old friend, and we dude. use this place as a grow house. Oh dude, yeah, I'm not, I liked how they did that. No, I used her. Her, her, her that place. her place, that's right. Yeah. Dude, this is a this is honestly like it's the, the more we talk about it and stuff, this is a super tropey like uh, drug dealer movie. You know what I mean? It, it hits all the fucking it checks it's checking all the boxes. It's from so two thousand one. I mean, I'm just I'm you know there's nothing wrong with it or nothing like that. But I'm like I said, I'm just now realizing like oh shit, like because you know they get into the game, they got to fucking you know they start getting have trouble in the game, they got to fucking I guys. want out, you know? Yeah, I'm tired of this. Yeah. No, you can't get out of here. This is the game. You know, you are you know all that whole thing. Like uh, that does happen, but I still like it though. Oh I mean, yeah, no, nah, like yeah, no, nah, it was still uh, still a fu- super. It's a fun watch, man. What, what did you want to talk about? Why you're about to make a point? I saw it over there. Uh, one of them dies. I, for, I was just saying, like that was one of the boxes. Like one of them's yeah, got to yeah, die. One of them's got to go earlier than the rest. Which uh, sadly, oh, yeah, Simon, they, they have to favorite. They also have to have an internal fucking conflict. You know, like you, man, you ain't, you ain't, you know, you you ain't being like you used to be. A lot of this movie could have been solved. A lot of the problems in this movie could have been fixed um, if they had all just come together as a group and been like, Let's figure hey, solution. y'all, like, did so-and-so, did, did the cops come talk to you? Yeah. 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 They oh, oh, they talked to all of us? Well, they're playing all of us. Like, let's kill the cops. Let's pick a tactic. Let's, or let's make a cops. plan, even. Yeah, like, they, they yeah, didn't, no but shit, that, didn't, that didn't happen in this movie. Everyone just wanted to be get mad and do their I'm own a shit. crack. I'm a crack guy. Go. Except for Money and Simon, I guess. Like, yeah, mine and Simon were a little chiller out of the group. Yeah, like well, they Tr- always Tristan had wanted out. E bomb was 
Ebon was ready to. He, he turned over on him. Yeah, it for was no that was hard. That was yeah. For it, an ugly girl. <laughs> oh yeah. See, that's another. That's another. Do it all the way for over some chick. For um, that he's known for days. <laughs> Days. Yeah, that's true. Days. He threw threw away years. If one of you back, Mother- backstabbed me over a woman you've known for days, if I have the capability, I will murder you both. <laughs> Honestly, <Wait>. man. <laughs> you uh, both. Who are the two, though? Yeah, who are the two? Yeah, I'm no, like, not and me. No, not no, me. No no, 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 I meant like I'm going to murder you and the woman. Me and, uh, me and Maddie Bones, too. Cool. If you backstab me, if we have a business endeavor, <laughs> and you fuck me over for a woman you've known for days... I'm getting you both on my list. I was like, "Well, wait—is it me and Ian you're talking to, or Hudson? No, Hudson or- just just Hudson and just the du- the double D over here. Fucking, I'm not going. I'm not, saying, I, mean, I would never do that to my to my boy. And you did. Put the knife down. <laughs> no, what but Edward scissor fingers. That'd be cool. Or Edward crack bag hands. <laughs> no, <laughs> just no. the bag though, not the fucking. No, you know, no. Oh my crack. god! Imagine if you had, you were just cursed with that. Dude, like, what? What if your? What if your fingers you crack were crack nails? Green, you had to bite your crack nails off. But, and, I was gonna like, say, get high from it somehow. Would you do or some? Smoke of your, them off. You had to smoke ha, your crack I, nails I, off. I, I was thinking along the same lines. Ian. Have you heard of that? Um, that auto? Uh, I can't remember what's got. It's like auto brewery disease or something where. Um, yeah. That tree man? Heard, I don't know yeah. that. Yeah. No, I know. I know what you're talking. Yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. Where basically it, it, it's a it's a rare disease where uh, your your bio, your your gut um, can actually in certain people uh, uh, produce the yeast to make alcohol. Yes, I have so, heard about so, that. So people uh, want their like skin stuff? shavings and shit. Nah, it's something. It's an internal. No, 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 no. Oh, it's, be- it's an internal thing. Um, and like these people are like, it's been only like diagnosed like in the last 10, 15 years. Uh, but it's like people who like were always failing, like couldn't keep jobs or people thought they were always drunk and stuff and they weren't. Oh shit. Um, but if there was something similar for like crack. Yeah. Or like, meth. Oh my God. I would Dude, he's just, not. It's his house gonna is happen. clean, meth but he, babies, he doesn't have any, his, his house is clean, but he doesn't have any copper in the fucking walls. Yeah. <laughs> like. But but that dude, I've had dreams. I think I've said this on the podcast before. I've had dreams where like my fucking mouth was. Uh, yeah, dude, you I can remember said the, this on the podcast. Yeah, dude, exactly yeah, what talk about. the purple tins, man. <laughs> yeah, my teeth was that, and I could only I could only eat like a couple pills or something like that to get high <laughs> and shit. Like you know, or I wouldn't have any teeth. I, I, I remember when you told that on the podcast. I was sitting there thinking the existential horror of having a dream where your teeth are pills, and you've taken two or three already, <laughs> <laughs> dude. It did it because I remember, like, man, I don't know, it was a crazy dream, but yeah. But would you do it? Obviously, I would. I had a crazy dream the other day. Let's hear it, Hudson. You were in it. Woo-hoo. All right, um, which is like, I know. granted, I fell asleep listening to, um, uh, fuck, what was it? Uh, Dead Rabbit Strange Rabbit? Familiars. Oh, uh, but I, I, I don't know what they were talking about. Either way, I fell asleep, woke up like seven, eight hours later. And I thought I'd forgotten to turn the autoplay off, mm-hmm. so it was it had been autoplaying the whole time. I was asleep. I had a dream. I was like, "Ah, man, I need a coffin." Yeah. Go to uh, your body shop, and I was like, "Hey, hey, hey, Hudson, I need need a need a coffin." And you were like, "Oh, we got big yeah. coffins because it's a body and shop." I, I was like, "What the fuck?" And then like you actually didn't have any coffins. You're like, "Oh, what the fuck." Yeah. And you're like, man, I'm, you're going to have to come back like next month or something. I was like, oh, no, nah, I need a coffin now. I need a small coffin now. <laughs> so I ended up going to uh, some other place, and it was like a very tiny um, Indian man. <laughs> <laughs> he had them, but he was like opening up the like coffin. the bays in the floor and pulling them out. I had like people like handing him coffins and shit. And I was just they like, go on the ground. Then I woke up, and I was like, what the fuck am I? What what's going on? <laughs> what am I yeah. planning? I, but, I, I, but but then then I listened. Then I heard in the background was uh, this uh, professor talking about ancient coffins, oh, and sarcophaguses, shit. and it had been playing for at least two to three hours. So I I guess that's where the dream came. That, from. that residue uh, got in your eardrum, yeah. and but he was like, but he was talking about like ancient Egypt, but it was weird. He kept. Calling them coffins, yeah. Not, oh, not uh, sarcophaguses. And, uh, well, he was using them. He was using them both, but he was saying coffin more than one. One hmm. tiny note on that dream. It worked out perfect when you said uh, Hudson's Body Shop, and I'm looking for a coffin. I want to yeah. preface or not preface uh, state that uh, Hudson does not own a mortuary in real life because that sort of sounded like what you were describing—a mortuary where you I buy was, coffins. Dude, he owns an auto body shop. I was gonna say, what if? Yeah. I was gonna. Say, 
Well, I mean, I was going to say, like, what if the, it'd be, it would be funny if they were called body, body shops. shops. And then I was you like, why don't we call coffin, them body shops? And they so go I was, paper yeah, I, was to, I was going to different body shops looking for coffins, and it was just weird. Oh, that why then. You got to shop, man. You got to shop around. You know what I'm saying? I had a weird dream, too, the other night. <laughs> Dude, he looked away. He looked down and away Dude, after he said away. that shit. What the fuck? This is when I woke up with from having a heart attack. Like, for real, I was like, it took 30 seconds for me to realize, like, it was so realistic. I was like, okay, we really didn't do that. Thank oh, God. Oh, shit. I, uh, what, what, did, you, did you do something crazy in a dream or something like Just that? Stab somebody? No. Okay, here was the dream. It was one of those dreams, like, you ever had a dream that lasts, like, the timeline when you remember it, You're like, okay, that dream was, like, 10 fucking years. I, I know it. what you're talking about. I, I, I feel like one of Fletcher's uh, alibis is about to be... <laughs> It's a dream. Provided. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> this was a dream. I thought that's why he's insisting this was, this a, was a dream. This was a yeah, dream. Yeah. Th- th- this this was is how he's saying it up. He's are recording. Are you going to shut up and let hey, me do it? You're supposed to be his lawyer, man. Come on. Are you going to shut Go up ahead. and let me do it? Okay. Yeah. So the dream. Uh-huh. It's a rainy, dark mm-hmm. uh, day by mm-hmm. my parents' house. Okay. Stepdad comes sliding down the road. Car slides. Kid's suddenly on a tricycle. Clips him. Son of a Clips bitch. him. <laughs> Gotta clean that. And I'm that. like, oh my god. And I can't remember why. Like, he started freaking out. And I was like, let's call the cops, man. It's a total fucking accident. Nobody. He starts freaking out and crying. I'm like, oh my god. How do I handle this? We get the child's body in the tricycle. We drive, like, in across the, tri- the country. And we <laughs> bury the kid. And I'm like, we're never gonna talk about it ever again, buddy, okay? I was like, no one's ever going to know. No, shh. No one's ever going to know. Please. I was like, help him. I was yeah, like, no, shut up. Let me finish. I was like, no one's ever going to know. <laughs> so we get back. This is where I'm talking about the timeline. We have the drive back. There's like hotel stays. I remember yeah. meals and shit. <laughs> we get back. I'm realizing how bad this sounds. Dude, but, yeah. I, I, come on, get it out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We get back. Time goes so far that my stepfather's an old man in a wheelchair, Fuck, and I dude. wheel him down the driveway to go get the mail, and he sees the ditch and starts remembering it and starts crying. He's like, we buried that body. I'm like, yeah, we did, man. I'm like hugging him shut, and shit. Shut up, shut up, shut up. I'm like, shh, it's okay, man. Shh. I'm like, it's okay. Don't worry. No one ever found out. And then I woke up, and I was like, what? Now, in fairness, I had watched uh, a movie a couple days before Denzel and Jared Leto where uh, something kind of specific-ish to that happens. And I was like, okay, that was a motherfucking dream. Fuck, but it was realistic. Well, yeah. my, my first question... Sorry to pull the... The room's real tense well, right my, now. My first question to, to, to both Ian and Matt was, um, y'all went to school with him. Don't you guys remember Fletcher having like a twin brother? <laughs> Uh, oh my! Oh, well, Flaunt- I had a concussion. Flaunter, but yeah. Flaunter yeah. Dude, yeah. And then he Flaunter. just disappeared. Yeah, I just like I oh, forgot like, about you, dude. Yeah, he right, right, like, like right around third grade, right, right before we won the big football well, no, like, game, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. In the dream, it was me now. So that oh. makes it even worse. We're like oh, five year old kid shit. Oh, you killed Flaunter. <laughs> No, we Man. just uh, in the dream it was ran him over on his trike, hey, dude. This kind of this kind of fits because uh, it Simon does. Simon has a, a, a horrid, horrible dreams in these. In this nice movie, fucking does. segue. I just want to. I, I just I don't know, it, dude. It, that was that was clean. That was clean. When Fletcher said he woke up and was just like, <gasps> all I yeah. could think of was Simon's, Simon. Yeah, it was one of those wake ups for real. Oh shit! Because oh, I yeah. was like, my stepdad would never do that. <laughs> he would God. never let us ditch the body. Oh my god! I was like, I'm fucked. I, well, I also, uh, uh, we're at like, tw- uh, actually, hang on, we're at like 24 minutes for this episode, but I don't give a shit. We don't fucking care about yeah. that anymore, dude. Du- With 30 guys. minutes total, if that's what you're asking, how long we've been on mic. Well, I just mean, uh, do you want to finish talking about? We nope. Will. We will. <laughs> well, we went to your dream, then we went to my dream, and Hudson's got a knife now. Should I do a dream, or is he going to stab me? Fucking. Nah, you're getting He's stabbed. He's cleaning his nails. It's, it's fine. It's fine. That's what he. That's what we refer to as stabbing around here, cleaning the Clean. nails, doing a little nail cleaning. Yeah, but now this is the, dude. This this movie. This movie. Even though you know it, it's a super. It's a super fun watch. I know. I've, I know. I keep saying it, but it really is. It's a fun watch. You should watch it with with your homies. Also, too, uh, this movie has one of the weirdest still frames at the end that I still don't know how to feel about. It looks very sinister. It really does. And I was like, wait, what? Did he not give a? F- 
Yeah, we're done. You know. I wish Tristan <laughs> had got shot. I wish Money and Simon had lived. They were the two. Or at least Money. They were the two uh, best hearted of the gang, if that makes sense. Yeah. I mean, I, I really liked uh, Money and Simon as well. Uh, but we're not going to get out too fast without talking about, uh, <laughs> oh shit, uh, twi- Twinkie. <laughs> Twinkie, yeah, uh, Twinkie is a badass pimp. Yeah, dude, movie. yeah, old school, throwing old cat, school. like throwing cat, talking shit to the children, and then throwing on some cash and shit, and then throwing life lessons too. Yeah, just <sighs> and then smoking a cigarette, and walking off. Yeah, he is. He, he is definitely one of those characters that fucking that would be. He would tell. He'd be like, "Let me tell you, son, you don't need to be smoking." <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, as he smokes a cigarette. And oddly enough, important to the plot. I always thought, like, the first time I saw it, he would just be a minor character, and that'd be it. Yeah. I did, too. It ends up becoming so much more important. I wish, he, was I wish he'd been a more prominent character. Because, like, you remember, remember last time we, when we were watching it last, I was like, I told you, man, imagine how fucking dope, more, imagine how cooler this movie would be if uh, Twinkie teamed up with Oh, him, I, I can see. And it was like, oh, let's all take down fucking... Uh, well, I don't even remember the bad guy's name. Clarence. Yeah. Okay. Clarence Twins Twins the third. Who are, no, oh, like yeah, yeah. His sorry. character is what I can't remember. Oh, shit, yeah. Sorry, I can't right now. I thought my I know they all talking. teamed up and went after him. They probably would have won, dude. Well, also, too, I thought it would have been another good idea. Uh, Twinkie prequel. Ooh. I'd to see him it. come up in the game? Yeah. Yeah. Dude, hell yeah. That, yeah, that'd be dope. Watch him fuck Simon's Twinkie. Yeah. Dot, I can see the title right yeah. now. Twinkie yeah. dot dot. Uh, rising to Pimpin' or something. Or Rising or twi- to the or, game. Or Twinkie, like... Rising to trickin' the, before the cream filling, yeah, something like that. Rising to trickin', yeah, it's, you know. What uh, uh, you on? I like Twinkie enough that I would I would watch the whole movie on. Totally. Plus, also too shit. Yeah, I mean, I ain't been no fire to him. <laughs> I can't kill the motherfucker <laughs> when he said that shit. <laughs> yeah, that was a that goddamn. Was, that was a good lie. Yeah, goddamn. Yeah. Shit, uh, I can't kill him. But yeah, this is this is a this is. I'm gonna give this movie fucking. I don't know. Three point seven out of five. I'm giving it seven out of ten. Man, I'm gonna get, dude. Uh, I, I wanna just because I keep saying it was fun and shit. I'm gonna give it like a like a six or something like that, like six or seven or something. How, how many crack rocks do you give it, Hudson? Yeah, uh, eight out of twelve. How many times would you hit the crack rock, Hudson? I'm just kidding. Nine out of twelve. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> shit, he'd smoke that rock till it's dust. Seventy five. <laughs> Yeah, let's let's not piss off the crackheads, y'all. Sorry, crackheads. Hey, his name's Hudson. He's right there. If you're a crack, <laughs> if you're a crackhead and you made it this far, fucking, thanks. I don't know. Yeah, thanks. I guess fucking smashing. Yeah, I mean, I guess in a way, this is kind of if you're a crackhead, and you get to watch it. Like you get to see, <laughs> like that's an accurate portrayal. They don't give a fuck about the crackheads in this movie. Yeah. Well, via con Dios till next time or whatever. Bye. Hit the fucking bricks. Go watch Blue Avenue. Later. Yeah, check it out.